So we're trying to figure out how to do this question out of the exam to practice exam. Um, and uh, with the question is, we're supposed to build a probability distribution. So um, and notice a PDF probability distribution function, PDF, versus a CDF, which is a cumulative uh, probability or a cumulative probability distri distribution. This is just exactly for each of them. Now, we did in chapter six or chapter five, where we started looking at probability distributions, there were, there were uh, you know, we had the ones like uh, the lotteries and the warranties and all those kind of things. And then we went into binomial probability distributions. And um, is, this a, is this, so the question we to ask ourselves, is this like lotteries and warranties or is it a binomial distribution? And be order to be a binomial distribution, it's gonna pass these four criteria is a fixed number of trials. Yeah, well, we're picking eight people or eight students, eight, eight full-time freshmen. Okay, so there's a fixed number of trials. The trials are independent. Well, whether or not I ask uh, uh, ask those uh, students, this is definitely a dated question, isn't it? <laughs> um, I probably should change this. Um, uh, that yes, uh, you know, to ask if yes is the same is the same should same sex couples have the same legal rights to marital status. Um, uh, so, so whether or not uh, you say yes and another student says uh, says says yes or no or 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 whatever, those are independent results. As long as we're assuming we're not they're not in they're independent. The other thing we got to assume is are they independent? Well, if I'm asking a person a question and then the person next to him feels intimidated by it, that might that that's not independence, right? So we're going to assume that they're independently, they're doing this right and not having the question, the answer influence the other. So we're going to, we're going to, we'll assume independence. Um, there is a two categories. Yes, they support it. No, they don't. And then uh, the probability of success remains the same for all trials to trials. So based on a great big survey, they found that 73, 71.3% of the students replied, yes. Yeah. So um, I, I could assume that since that came from such a big, a big, uh, big sample originally, that we probably can assume that it's going to stay the same here too. So I, I would say yes, it's a binomial probability distribution. So because this is a binomial probability distribution, we can either we when well, this is because it's exactly we want to find exactly if for each of so there's eight people. So zero people said yes, all the way up to eight people said yes. Okay, so to do, to do that, if you want to do this by hand, you'd have to substitute in these values, right? For, for there's these eight people, so it'd be eight factorial. And for this first one, we'd say eight minus zero factorial times zero factorial times P to the zero and times Q to the eight, because it's, it's eight minus zero, right? And we'd have to do that eight times or nine times. Uh, not something I'd want you to have you do. So one thing I'll point you to is, uh, let's see if I can find that. All right, let me move this out of the way. Here, actually, I think I'm done with Dr. Stevens. Here, this is what I wanted. Nope, this isn't what I wanted. Uh, I just said here, I'm sorry. Uh, here, I'm in, I'm in Canvas. Uh, this course resources. I've got all my calculators right here, online statistical tools. Uh, there's two ways to go with this one. I'll show you one way and then I'll show you the easier way. We'll use that GigaCalc or StatTrek if you want to use that one too. Um, so there's a probability of success is what? 0.71.3, so 0.713. And the number of trials is eight. And for the first one, we want to know exactly zero. And we click calculate, and this is the answer that we're looking for for the zero column, practically zero. And then we change it to one. And that's the answer would go for exactly one. So where I have where I have have this, zero would have been that first one. The answer was on that calculator right now. We'll go here. Then we just keep doing this for two, three, four, all the way up through. Um, 
easier than using the formula. Uh, maybe we could use that because our our tables don't have that for a calc have that for a probability. So we'd have to use tech to do it or the formulas. Um, the other other calculator though that will do work for us here is this histogram one. As soon as this loads, here we go. So we have N is eight, probability of success is 0 0.713. And then we'll just let it build it for us. And then what you can do is you can put, hover, hover. Yeah, I mean, basically that's zero, not much bigger than zero. Finally, two gives us an answer. And there's three. And you could just take those numbers and fill in that table with them. And then you wouldn't have to do it each time. I mean, if you wanted to get exact answers to this, we could type in zero. Let's see what the calculator tells us. Okay, so see so yeah, zero so low, practically zero. We could change it to one. And there's that one, and so on and so forth. But after two, we can actually see it, just hover it over the bars. Okay, so that's how we're building that probability distribution. All these probabilities add up to one. And uh, that's all this question's asking us to do. And I'm asking to find any sums or anything. So that's how we build a probability distribution, a binomial probability distribution.